Welcome back to Las Vegas. Now, September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, so Southwest Medical connected us to Dr. Jeff Wilson of the Urology Specialist of Nevada to learn more. Here's our conversation. Well, first, let's talk about what exactly is prostate cancer. Define it for us. Sure. Prostate cancer is cancer of the prostate gland, which is located between the bladder and the urethra in the male. The prostate gland is responsible for producing a fluid which nourishes the, nourishes the sperm. Okay, and who can actually get prostate cancer and at what point in their lives? So only males can get prostate cancer and only males typically over the age of 50 years old um, with increasing prevalence over the age of 60 and even into the 70s. Um, African-American males and men with certain genetic um, mutations are at higher risk of getting prostate cancer. Okay, and what are the symptoms and what should people look out for? Prostate cancer in its early stages actually has no symptoms at all. In the later stages, prostate cancer can have either bone pain or lower abdominal pain, but those are only in the more advanced stages. Okay, and, and how can you get screenings or testings to see you know, what, what's going on in your body? So the tests that we do to diagnose prostate cancer include a digital rectal exam performed by the urologist in the office to look for firm areas of the prostate um, that may be at higher risk of prostate cancer, and also lab work in the form of prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, uh, testing from the lab. Um, in addition, we have started to use prostate MRI to localize more specific lesions to biopsy in the office. Ultimately, only an office biopsy is diagnostic. Okay, and if you, if you are doing these screening tests, is it because you are feeling something or is it because it's, it's standard, you should do it over the course of time? So we recommend routine screening for most men after age 50 years old, and that's typically performed by the primary care physician. If there's an elevation in those levels um, or a concern with the digital rectal exam, the patient is referred to the urologist for further work. Sort of okay, and now let's talk about treatment options. What can people actually get done? Prostate cancer is a complex um, um, uh, process and involves a thorough discussion between the urologist and the patient. For lower risk prostate cancer, um, the options include active surveillance, which is close observation, or a prostatectomy, which is most often performed robotically nowadays, or uh, radiation therapy to the prostate. And with all of that said, I think if we're spreading awareness about prostate cancer, it's really important to tell people to talk to their doctor about it, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, talking to your physician and having open communication right. is crucial to optimize care. Especially if you're at higher risk. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Wilson. Thank you so much for having me today. Of course. And we want to thank Southwest Medical for being one of our community pride partners. Lindsay, I'll send it to you.